This is not your daddy's Resident Evil. This is nobody's Resident Evil. You're damn right. So we have both watched the first episode of Resident Evil. I've watched three. I watched 1.45 before I fell asleep. Like I made it through almost half of one episode. When CNN says that your your Resident Evil series is a generic Netflix series, that is not good. Because usually, I feel like CNN is shilling for Netflix, no? I, yeah, it's true, but I, I guess that's true. It did turn it into just a generic series. I feel like it would have been better if they took Resident Evil out of it. Because then at least you uh... would just have like a generic zombie. Like, if you completely just took the Resident Evil reference out of it, would it have been a better show? I don't know if it would have been better. It would have been less... Be- n- Your it would have been less annoying been- because then you're not being mad that the fact that it's just not a Resident Evil show. That is... Yeah, because it's not. It's, I don't know if it makes it better. It's Resident Evil in name only. Uh, And... A- it's like Resident Evil, maybe like 25% at best. Because it has zombies, which are terrible looking. It has some character, like some, some monsters or whatever. That it has Resident the Evil. liquor. And it has like one of the main characters. It has a Wesker, but it's yep. not Wesker. That's it's not like Wesker. a different Wesker. To- is, this is not canon. You have none of the cat. If you watch, if you played the video games, there is not a damn character you would recognize. The as. dog. You'd recognize a dog. It's kind of sad. It's yeah. Just, and a liquor. Recognize. A yep. dog and a liquor. Yeah. It's all you get. Nothing else. That's about it. So if you were hoping for an elevated version of your favorite video game series, you didn't get it because this is not the series you are looking for. These are not the Resident Evil zombies you are looking for. I'm curious if it ends well. No, because I heard there's a dance scene. What? Yeah, there's a dance scene Just like the in, end. what's that, the bubble movie? The bubble? <laughs> oh my gosh, Where yeah. they dance with raptors? Yes, there is a dance, there is a dance scene. Oh, fuck. Yeah, in, fo- in fact, uh, Moist Critical kind of spoiled that for me. So, let's talk about it a little bit. But if CNN is ripping you, not a good decision. The show stars Ella Balinska, who is... what. She was in the 2019 version of Charlie's Angels, which no one watched. Sure. Right? No one watched that. I watched it. Well, besides, I think I own it. Really? Why yeah. did you give that away? Uh, I think I did. Did you? I don't think you. I don't think anybody wanted that. I think nobody wanted it. Yeah. Oh, that's Naomi scary. Harris is in there. Or no, Naomi Scott's in it. And she's hot. Uh huh. She's pretty hot. Oh, it is. It is weird though, because they they say there's like a new Raccoon City, right? It's literally New Raccoon City, yeah. Yeah. So it goes between two timelines. One timeline is in 2036 where the world has ended. Nobody and, gives a shit about that timeline. Yeah, and then there's like a 2022 version. But Before that version the world ended. doesn't make any sense because it, it's all ty- teenage issues, high school type drama. They literally complain that they're in like South Africa or something and there's not enough like and they're in London, I thought. No, not in no, in, in the new raccoon city. I thought that's old, London also. No, it's not. Oh really? No, it's South Africa. Shit. South Africa. Didn't And they know say that. there's there's not enough black people, but there's literally as you watch the school, there are like I didn't know that was in South Africa. The bully the girl that bullies the other girl, she's like a uh, Australian or South African or whatever. She, well, that girl's a bitch. I would have beat the shit out of her. She should have beat. Yeah, she should have. Exactly what happens to Fuck her. Fuck that girl. Uh, it is not good. The only thing that's good about it is the wires Lance Riddick. Who's always great. Lance Riddick's always great. He's the from wires The Wire? Also, yeah. No shit. He's, aw- Dude, he's so good in The Wire. The Wire is so amazing. He plays Wesker. The only, and that's the only, the fact that his name is Wesker, he's ne- Wesker in ca- name only. He's definitely else. not actual Wesker. No. And they're not any of the characters from the show at all, or from the game, or literally anything. There's nothing. Do they even say T virus? I don't even think they, they say uh, T virus. Eventually. They eventually. Do. They do say it. They say they it. They reference, 
I they start referencing things from like the games, I guess. But they don't show anything. So I'm curious if they have additional flashbacks and no. I don't know. I feel like there's room for it to get a little bit better. You would be wrong. There's room. Wait till you get to the dance sequence. And then you just be like, no more. I'm going to need the dance sequence. I hope it's all of the, the zombies just dancing. It is not. It is not. It makes no sense. And then Wesker's the DJ. <laughs> With any luck. Yeah. There's another review here from IndieWire that says Resident Evil review Netflix reboot is a teetering mess until it's madcap final chapters. I could barely get through the first hour. Why should I get through the next eight hour or That's seven what I'm saying. hours? Like, one, I watched a couple episodes, so now I'm like, all right, I'm in. I'm going to watch the ending, so I'm hoping it ends well. There's no plot. the the In the future plot, in the 2036 timeline there is no plot no that that future timeline is useless i don't think anyone is saying they like it so like without that timeline that the show would be better i'm just hoping that there is some sort of point to it there's no point to this, this right has, now there is none i don't even understand what the old point is uh, than the point the point to the 2022 one other than they're like this is how the world ends but i don't really care I, I, this, I, let's talk about the special effects. The zombies are terrible. They're not great. They don't even look. I don't. They don't look like zombies. They look more like the Hunchback of Notre Dame than they look like. Zombies. The effects get better as the show because goes they show on. less of them. Because the yes. pilot was like, "Look at all this," and it's it's not even shot well. Like it's not. Directed yeah, I, well. I want to say that they they do more. Less is more. There is a terrible scene where, you know, the T-virus mutates things, right? And if you had your choice of animals that you would mutate, what would be your choice? Butterflies. (laughs) To make Mothra. What about, like, a lizard? A dragon. Name something more interesting than what they... Dragon. they They got a caterpillar. Cactus. They got a caterpillar. Oh. Are you scared of a caterpillar? I mean, regular caterpillars are kind of cute. So why would you be scared of a mutated caterpillar? Well, because they're hungry and horny. (laughs) So the scene, there's a scene where she's attacked by a caterpillar. It's a very big caterpillar. And it like smashes her into a car where she would, you know, if she were a normal person, she'd probably die. The CGI in that scene is akin to... Matrix 2 Uncanny Valley where if you stop it and you see her face like spread out it's like it's terrible it's some of the worst CGI I've ever seen the makeup effects of the zombies is absolutely terrible the acting is completely terrible the main bad villain guy like falls down the stairs for no reason it's not great it is not good at all none of it makes sense it's not the worst show I've ever seen. Like, it's not like it's CW level of bad, but Nef- like it's Netflix, like Netflix has gotten better bad. with each episode. So I'm like, you are lying. All right. Sir. Maybe it'll end decent. Maybe your life will end decent. Maybe it'll not end this decently. show on a scale of one to it won't. There's no way this I, gets better. I, all I want to see asleep during the second episode. I just so want to see boring. I just want to see the the 2022 timeline. Like, more Wesker. Wesker is the best. Just Wesker. Part of this show. Kill his daughters. He's more not Wesker. actually Wesker, but Wesker in this show is the best part. Does he turn into a liquor? I don't what know. What if he is a liquor? Maybe he does turn into liquor. I don't know. And he licks his daughters. I don't recommend the show at all to no uh, one. Yeah, I, I, I can't say I recommend it. I want to finish it, and then I would give my final recommendation. This is coming from a man who watches Batwoman to the end. He and I continues love Resident to Evil. Watch. I love Resident Evil. You liked the last live. This is not Resident Evil. It's not. It's not. So just accept the fact that it's they use Umbrella, Liquors, and Zombies, and everything else is not anything. Yes. So It's, it's a cash grab. Absolutely. Grabbing that cash, milking them teats. Mm -hmm. So anyway, if you like what we do here, please like and subscribe. It helps us greatly and share this with your friends. Comment below. Are you a fan of this? Are you prepared to finish it? Can you get past one episode? I challenge you to get past one episode and not fall asleep like I did. You could be more like this noob 
over here. Anyway, if you don't like and subscribe, there is a possibility that Noob Noob will do this to you. Instead of the T virus, I will concoct the N virus, the Noob virus. The double N virus. Where I will put it in your bum and you will become a sexual deviant and you will be a homing missile to my home lo location. And all we will do is have copious amounts of unsanctioned sex in my basement. Oh, So my unless God. you're into that, you should watch our show. Absolutely. Check this out more as you can catch our live stream of our full-length audio podcast, which is on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, and all those other great places. It's free for you to download. And you can catch our live stream 7.30 p.m. Friday nights. Join the party. Everybody else does. You're missing out on all the action. As for us, we are on to the next one. Thank <music> you.